Welcome to Tools, Tech, and Gear. I'm Seth. Today, we're gonna to open up this motion sensor solar-powered LED light and install it outside on my sister's place and see how well this thing operates. She's been needing a light for a while and I figured that this one would be pretty good. It's on Amazon, link in the description down below. The brand name is Shunyu. So let's go ahead and open this box and see what it's all about. That's the contents of the box. Let's take a quick look at each individual component and then we'll get this thing installed. So the light itself is right here, indicates that it is 3.7 volts. Discharge can be 100, uh, 1,000 times. Waterproof level IP65, so should be fine to sit out in the weather for quite a while. So this is gonna be your motion sensor right here. So we'll have to test out how close or far you can be before that will trigger. And then the light itself right here is going to uh, hopefully turn on whenever the panel is fully covered. So it'll just mean that it's nighttime or dark. Let's go ahead and plug this up. Okay. And so the panel right here is also going to have that ball on it. So you can adjust into the sun as needed, which is a pretty cool design, I feel like. So it should be pretty simple to install. Just a couple of screws in here and then slide this, looks like, down over like that. So, all right, let's go outside and get this installed real quick. I'm gonna mount the solar panel first with this little bracket. And uh, this unit came with some screws, but I'm gonna use my own because I prefer the Torx head instead of the regular screws that they provided. I'm go right about here. For the motion light itself, I'm gonna install this bracket on this side of the porch. I've got the solar panel right here. The wire tucks in up under the porch and goes to the light right here which you can see. So we'll come back this evening and do all the tests with the motion sensor distance and how long this light stays on once it is turned on. I'm back out here about nine o'clock to show you how bright this light is. Let me walk up here. So this is about uh, 25 feet away. No motion detection yet. Here's about 20 feet. Okay, yep, so about 20 feet away is when this light kicks on. And let me kind of get behind the light so you can see how far it casts the light. So I'm right here below it, and you can see it's providing plenty of light here on the walkway. Definitely more than enough to get up the steps. It's even brighter than I was anticipating. All right, let me go ahead and wait for this to turn off, and then I will uh, trigger the motion again, and we'll time to see how long this thing stays on. All right, so hopefully this is behind the sensor enough that it's not going to trigger. I'm going to trigger the motion and push the stopwatch at the same time. Here we go. There we go. All right, now I'm going to step over to the side and uh, we'll time to see how long this stays on. Okay, and the big reveal here, we are at uh, 38 seconds for how long that stayed on. Very nice. More than enough time to get up the walk and into the house. As you can see, this is producing plenty of light for this walkway and enough to get into the house safely. It's also uh, lasting 38 seconds, which is more than enough time to find your key and get into the house. The little solar panel should keep this thing charged during the day. I think it said about five hours or so of good sunlight to keep this going most of the night, which um, being a motion light, you're not gonna have this thing on all the time. Well, thank you for watching this video. If you want to learn more about this light, check the link below, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.